She was told, be happy, it's a dar. She was warned that she better not be unhappy because it's a dar. Nevertheless, she persisted. Breaking news from the Jewish News Foundation. Someone has broken into Chef Natalia's kitchen and stolen all the home intoxicants that will be used on Purim. If you know anything of the store, if you know who stole it, if you know anything, please contact the Beth Jacob congregation right away. I am Kosher Ramen Noodles, your host. Goodbye. Sean, from Beth Jacob Congregation, do you have anything to say about this upcoming crisis? Yeah, uh, I, I found some tickets for preseason to the Red Sox. You want to come? Very well said, and yes, I would. On to Natalia. Chef Natalia, do you have anything to say about this crisis? Whoever did this will pay. Well said. Rabbi Tamar, do you have any words of wisdom? Just follow the Torah and everything will be just fine. Well said. We are back. And we promise you that we will keep you posted on this crisis. But for now, and I quote, ramen noodles. I kosher ramen noodles. Make sure that you have a happy Purim, even if we have no home in Tashis. Good, Good evening. And welcome to tonight's reading of the story of Purim. You know, we as a society have become terribly commercialized these days. Stadiums are named after banks and multinational corporations. Your favorite movies are shown on television with interruptions every five minutes for another five minutes worth of commercials. I fear that one day the same thing is going to happen to the reading of the Megillah. And it may sound something like this. And it came to pass in the days of Ahasuerus, king of Persia, when he sat on his royal throne in the capital Shushan, that he made a feast for all his officials and his servants. And on the seventh day, when his heart was merry with wine, he ordered that Queen Vashti be brought before him to show off her beauty. But the queen refused, and King Ahasuerus became very incensed, and his anger burned in him. And his servants and advisors told him, for acid indigestion caused by willful queens, take Rolades. Rolades consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. Later the king's pages said, Let there be sought beautiful young maidens to replace Vashti as queen, and let their cosmetics be given them. Cosmetics from Maybelline Shushan. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Make it happen. Later, after Esther had become queen, when word of the evil Haman's plot against the Jews came to her from her cousin Mordechai, and that Mordechai had donned sackcloth with ashes, she sent garments to clothe Mordechai so that he might take off his sackcloth. Like shirts from Untucket, shirts designed to be worn untucked. And jeans from Levi's, because Persia was not built by men in suits. And once Haman's evil plot had been uncovered and he had been hanged on the gallows he had built for Mordechai, the Jews throughout Persia destroyed the enemies that would have destroyed them. And there was a great celebration and feasting and gladness. And these days have been remembered and celebrated by every single generation since. And the greatness of Mordechai was recorded in the book of Chronicles. <laughs> 800 of the enemies slain in Shushan. Persia rejoices. All credit to Mordechai and Esther. A couple of really bad dudes. Party on. Hashtag Mordechai rocks. Hashtag Esther rocks. Hashtag Jews rock. We hope you enjoyed tonight's annual retelling of the story of Purim. And if you thought that my retelling was somewhat lacking, I would ask you to consider that as a struggling actor, I need all the breaks that I can get.
Good night. The couch is really comfy. I'd be a youth director just for this couch. Yo, Noah, can I get some gushers? Yeah, sure. Of course. <laughs> I feel like Noah's not treating Max very well, but am I really going to stand up for him? No, I'm in this for myself. Hey, Guys, guys, no, quiet, play. quiet. It's my close up. The name's Natan. You really got me red? I thought you'd, did you did black red. Are you guys, are you watching this? This is unacceptable. <laughs> I saw the juicy eat a gusher off the ground and I'm kind of disgusted. Hey y'all, he's <laughs> everywhere right now. Bro, you don't even love Barry. Emmy, say something funny. <laughs> okay. Barry. I'm just so sick of Noah. Are you watching how he's treating me? <laughs> <laughs> this video is chaotic. <laughs> My car. Moose poop again? What? Moose poop? <laughs> I really am not sure if I'm fit for this, and I'm gonna go jump the fence into the woods now. Yeah. I you know that there's wolves in that, those woods, right? Well, someone else did it before me, so precedent has been set. You know, I'm sick of this. I, I, I can't choose what gushers are in the gusher pack. Like, for real, I don't choose the red one, so I'm out. Wow.